Even the smallest chihuahua is still a wolf at heart says a phrase that fits like a glove to the dog that we will talk about in this video. A fantastic companion who has no sense of his size and is always brave and determined when the time comes. The natives of Mexico are fun, loving but very independent and at times may prefer to have things done their way. Are there really reasons not to have one? Welcome friends, today we will be learning about the 7 reasons not to have a chihuahua, after knowing each point you will be able to know if this dog is for you and if you already have one, tell us about your experience with them. Now let's start. The first reason why he does not like children. This information must be handled calmly and understand what we do not mean by not liking children. The first thing to keep in mind is that these dogs are recommended for people who do not have a very hectic lifestyle, who do not like much exercise and it is in older adults that they become an ideal dog to accompany them, since they being lap dogs they can be on their lap or very close to them and spend their time sleeping or resting. Children by nature are very curious and they see in dogs a companion in mischief that can play with them all day, the chihuahua will only do it if he wants to and it is not always like that, something that the child cannot understand and when the dog whether sleeping or eating, they can bother you and this breed has no problem barking or even biting if it feels disturbed. Of course, this is not the line of all the specimens, some may like to play a lot, but a bad blow, a trip, or a fall could affect their health considerably since their bones are more delicate due to their size, something that you should have always present. The second reason why they can be aggressive. We can never compare the bite of a large dog with that of a chihuahua, but it can still generate fear or moments of discomfort, and the fact is that the chihuahua is one of the dogs with one of the most complex temperaments, many say that they are even dogs that do not have a well-defined personality, being some that can be calmer, others more hyperactive and others more determined if they feel disturbed. Could a chihuahua bite someone out of the blue? It could rarely happen. Rather it is about moments or when they are bothered, or someone wants to pet them without first asking the owner if they can do it, or that they are accidentally hurt or grabbed in a bad way and when they cause pain they attack. What is certain is that two studies showed that when a dog's size decreases, it seems to like grooming more, but it tends to have a more hostile temperament. In the scientific journal Sciencia Directa, an investigation called Applied Sciences of Animal Behavior appeared in 2008, which determined that a Chihuahua, a Jack Russell Terrier or a Dachshund tends to have a high percentage of biting a stranger or the same owner. Unlike dogs such as the Pitbull, Bull Terrier or Rottweiler that are considered dangerous by some due to their size. Remember that when talking about aggression it is almost always a warning or a warning bark and if it bites it will not have serious complications, always ask the owner if you can pet it. The third reason why they have the Napoleon complex. The colloquial term refers to Napoleon Bonaparte, who was said to have made up for it with power, warfare, and conquest because of his size, which gave him an inferiority complex. If you have a chihuahua at home, you will know what we are talking about and that is that these dogs have an air of royalty, where they feel like owners or ladies of the home and do not want anything to happen without them knowing. This occurs because these dogs have no notion of their size and can face larger animals that, confused by what is happening, mostly decide to withdraw to avoid a confrontation. But this is not always the case, and since the chihuahua does not know that its size is the smallest in the canine world, it could lead to problems, since if a dog decides to face it, the story could be different, even fatal, and it is something that is not wanted. For nothing in the world, therefore, even if it seems funny and even fun, it is better to reduce this with socialization classes, it is true that these dogs are not easy to train, but patience will be your best weapon to achieve great results. The fourth reason why they prefer those of their race. A well-socialized chihuahua could live with almost any type of pet, and that is something that can motivate you to work with them to ensure that they have a stable life and do not have behavioral problems, but if you have had several you will be able to confirm that they get along with each other. Very well, and they like to live in what could be called clans, they really like the company of each other and this also helps them to accompany each other on occasions where you have to spend some time outside the house. If you decide to have only one, or you are one of the people who likes to have several pets, it is important to inform yourself well about the breed you choose, and in the case of the Chihuahua, it is no exception. Also remember that each dog is different so the experience of one is not always that of another. 
If you are liking this video, it would be very helpful if you give us a like so that YouTube recommends it to more people, only with this you will be helping us a lot and we will be very grateful and if you are interested in everything we upload and the information about pets and the animal world, you can subscribe and activate the notification bell, we upload videos every week. The fifth reason why they bark a lot. Although it is not a guard dog, it could be an alarm, since it will give notice that something is happening, that someone has arrived or that for its eyes something will not be right at all, although of course, this will be left alone. What happens with the chihuahua is that if it is not socialized, it could create behavior that is not recommended, such as barking a lot, and it is that due to multiple factors that may include not going out much, not having toys or having a life full of stress, it could start to do it and this can become a real headache, since it will do it with anything that moves, from people passing by, people on bicycles, animals, cars, among others, and this could represent a coexistence problem for you. And the neighbors and gradually decrease its effectiveness as an alarm dog since you will believe that if it is barking it is because of anything, not because of a danger. The sixth reason requires a lot of care. Chihuahuas are dogs that can be considered emperors of the home, but their size can eventually cause some problems, the first is that they cannot be jumping a lot because going up and down stairs very often would cause problems in the future. Rough play, something that occurs when there are small children or larger dogs can also be a factor to worry about. Periodic visits to the vet will be very important to stay one step ahead. Painful luxating patella can occur, as it does in many small breeds. Hydrocephalus is common in them, however, some chihuahuas may have what is called a fontanelle or malera, and it is totally natural and accepted for the breed, which is a separation of the cranial bones. Chihuahuas are prone to eye infections due to their large, round, bulging eyes and their relative closeness to the ground. Obesity can appear due to an overfeeding of the owners who feel that they do not feel satisfied or feel guilty for eating and not giving it to them, avoid this because obesity in them can bring painful diseases. The good thing about it all is that if you take care of it you will have one of the dogs with the longest life expectancy that can even reach 20 years of age. The seventh reason because they do not tolerate the cold well. Many chihuahuas are sensitive to cold due to their small body size. Chihuahua owners usually dress their dogs in sweaters or coats in cold weather, but for this you have to get them used to it as they don't like it at first. It is recommended that these dogs live in tropical or temperate places and if they do so in winter areas, clothing will be important to avoid bad times or major problems such as hypothermia, it goes without saying that these dogs cannot live outside the home. The Chihuahua is a proud dog full of a lot of vitality and that regardless of the causes will go out to defend their own. It is a dog for almost any family, but remember that dedicating space and time to it is vital for it to have a happy life. You can write your opinion in the comments, we always read them. Well this is all for now until next time.